very warm greetings one and all we will have a discussion about rearrangement reactions in this video and happy to see you again in this platform what is rearrangement reactions so rearrangement reactions are broad class of organic reactions where the carbon skeleton of a molecule is rearranged to give you a new structural isomer of the original so here the migrating group is very very important the, the migrating group or migrating atom from one center to another center here. So, based on this, what you are expecting, a new structural isomer is formed, which is similar to the original one. So, I am repeating the definition. Molecular rearrangement refers to the migration of atom or group from one atom to another within a molecule takes place. So, as a whole, the new structural isomer of the original is formed. So, this is the basic definition involved in the molecular rearrangement. And we will see what is 1, 2 shift. So, 1, 2 shift is a very, very important in the case of our molecular rearrangement. Most of the rearrangement is following 1, 2 shift. It is nothing but if you consider about two carbon atoms, carbon 1 and carbon 2. Previously, it may be in carbon 1, it migrated to the carbon 2. So that the migration, migrating group from carbon 1 to carbon 2, if it is takes place, it's nothing but a 1 comma 2 shift. So in number of rearrangement reaction, the migrating group moves to the adjacent atom. This is the one I have explained to you about C1 and C2. So it goes to the adjacent carbon atom. So that the migration takes place. Such reactions are said to involve 1 comma 2 shift. And we will discuss about some more things like an intramolecular and intramolecular rearrangement depends upon the migrating group. So, in the case of intramolecular rearrangement, the migrating group never become free. Whereas in the case of our intermolecular rearrangement, the migrating group detaches from one atom and becomes free. Now, we will discuss about the various types of the rearrangement reactions. First type is the rearrangement to electron deficient carbon. So here carbon migration, that Wagner will win rearrangement, phenacol phenacolone rearrangement, and benzylic acid rearrangement and arnit extract homologation. And rearrangement to the electron deficient nitrogen, Hoffman rearrangement, Curtius rearrangement, Smith rearrangement, Lawson rearrangement, and Dickman rearrangement. And uh, the types of the rearrangement continues again. The rearrangement reactions. Rearrangement to the electron deficient oxygen, Bayer Williger uh, reaction, hydroperoxide rearrangement, and Dakin rearrangement. Rearrangement to electron rich carbon, uh, Stevens rearrangement, Somlet Hazard rearrangement, Wittig rearrangement, and Favosky rearrangement. And aromatic rearrangement involves, as we already discussed about, the inter and intramolecular rearrangement. The intramolecular rearrangement, uh, intermolecular migration from nitrogen to carbon and intramolecular migration from nitrogen to carbon takes place. Again, in this uh, slide, I am repeating the definition here. A rearrangement reaction is broad class of organic reactions where the carbon at carbon skeleton of a molecule is rearranged to give you a new structural isomer of the original molecule. So, rearrangement induced by cationic electron deficient center the examples are here. We will discuss one by one in details from forthcoming videos. And uh, nucleophilic or anionentropic. In this case, migrating group migrates with the uh, electron pair. Here, inter and intramolecular rearrangements most commonly takes place. And another case, electrophilic or cationotropic. Migrating group migrates without its electron pair. Free radical migrating group migrates with only one electron. So, we will discuss about uh, some more aspects of uh, with the detailed examples on uh, various rearrangement reactions in forthcoming video. Thanks for watching this video. Like it, subscribe it and share it for more number of videos. Thank you.